story that you've heard, read, or seen make you feel? Storytelling is universal to the human experience, and it is surely as old as language itself. I'm Jan. And I'm Joy. Me and Jan are Apache Kiowa Native American twins, and although we were born in the United States, we lived in Britain for 20 years and grew up in England as third culture kids. As multimedia storytellers specializing in digital marketing and content development, we've mastered the art of telling cross-cultural stories in new immersive ways. Geronimo! Have you ever heard people shout that iconic name? We're actually direct descendants of Geronimo. He is known across the globe for being a prominent leader of several bands of the Apache tribe, and his name is recognized as a war cry in pop culture. As indigenous peoples, our stories have echoed throughout centuries, from petroglyphs to folklore paintings to graphic novels. And now with the uptick in creating digital simulations in our physical world, we're utilizing augmented reality. All these artistic expressions have a global footprint and personify the old adage, show, don't tell. Multimedia storytelling humanizes your brand because of its power to make emotional connections to it in a way that no other method can. By pulling your audience into your own story, people are moved by your authenticity, creating empathy that can nurture and sustain customer loyalty for years to come. So now we're gonna walk you through a short journey of visual storytelling from our Native American ancestors, other indigenous tribes, and me. We will give examples of art forms from ancient to traditional media, and then from contemporary to immersive media, giving you a unique insight into a world of visual storytelling that is not often in the spotlight. First, let's look at a couple of examples of ancient media art forms. What you see is a picture of Kiowa tribe history painted on a bison hide. The painted timeline depicts the years 1833 to 1892. The image that you see now is of a pictograph, that is drawings or, or paintings on rock. This one was found at Newspaper Rock in southwestern Utah. Now, not only did tribes create these images in order to record a history of events, but it was also a means to showcase ceremonial images and even maps of hunting areas. So in ancient media, before the time of the book, a picture literally painted a thousand words. Now let's look at a couple of examples of traditional art forms before the dawn of digital media. A famous Kiowa photographer from our maternal grandmother's side was Horace Pula, who lived from 1906 to 1984. His photographs celebrated the life of his friends and family and of his multi cultural tribal community and told the story of Native America of the Southern Plains during the mid 20th century and that continued for the next 50 years. What you see here is a photograph from the American Indian Exposition Parade in Anadarko, Oklahoma in 1941. This picture was also featured in an exhibition at the National Museum of the American Indian in New York City in 2015 which we attended. Another renowned Kyra storyteller is Robert Redbird Sr., who passed away in 2016. He was an award-winning Native American artist who painted in order to preserve and communicate the Kiowa culture. He is known primarily for his blanket wrap Southern Plains figures and depiction of Kiowa folklore. What you see here is an image of Robert Redbird's painting called The Gathering. Now, in 1967, he designed the poster for the U.S. International Open Polo Tournament when he met Prince Charles of Wales. He was also served as a he also served as a cultural consultant on several motion pictures, including the 1990 film Dances with Wolves. And Oklahoma declared on June 7, 2003, that it was Robert Redbird Day to celebrate the artist's many creative and humanitarian achievements. It's imperative to take the time to ensure your messaging, your story, has authentic voices. Inclusion and representation will provide that depth 
and that accuracy in your storytelling to give your work the respect it deserves. From these traditional mediums, we move into the digital space and contemporary media with an example of a digital platform which highlights the work of Native American master writers and storytellers called Native Realities Digital, led by Lee Francis. In comics and graphic novels, Native American characters aren't usually very prominent, but since 2015, Native Realities has published more than a dozen comics and graphic novels with award-winning titles such as Tales of the Mighty Code Talkers, Dear Women, and Native Entrepreneurs that have continued to delight and inform audiences throughout the world. What you see here is an image of the cover of its latest crowdfunded graphic novel, A How, a werewolf comic anthology, which features new comics by accomplished writers and illustrators distributed by Native Realities distribution arm, Red Planet Books and Comics. Native Realities is also the founder of the Indigenous Comic Con. Keep your ear to the ground for emerging artists What's been seems to lead to what's next. So collaborate to innovate. So we've talked about ancient, traditional, and contemporary media in indigenous storytelling, but now we're going to walk you through an example of augmented reality, which is a new type of immersive media. So Jan, what exactly is it? Augmented reality overlays digital content onto the physical world as if the object is actually there with you in your own space. As an indigenous visual artist, also known as Kiowa Jan, I tell cross-cultural stories in new immersive ways. My digital art series, Indigenous Planet, is based on the four seasons, one of the seven lessons of the Native American medicine wheel, where I digitally painted the spring, summer, and upcoming winter of my life. What you see here is Indigenous Planet in Augmented Reality, filmed by using Minbit Viewing Room, an Augmented Reality app, on location at the Oculus in downtown Manhattan. Yellow represents spring, when I was born in Oklahoma, where the bison used to roam freely. Red represents summer, when I grew up in England. Black represents fall, where I currently live in New York City. White represents winter, where we all just might end up in space. The medicine wheel shows where each of these stages of my life falls on the colors of the wheel. You can see the Indigenous Planet AR show in the MinBit Viewing Room app, wherever you are in the world, be it inside or outside, at indigenousplanet.art. Augmented reality allows you to engage people's imaginations and expand people's beliefs, your story becomes an immersive experience and not simply something visual. We are in the age of merging old and new ways of storytelling with digital tools that open a number of possibilities of interactions across international borders without the need to even travel. So we've looked at examples of ancient media which gives you a look into what life was like before the time of the book, and then more traditional ways of storytelling with photographs and four floor paintings, which stamp a time and place. So we get a glimpse into other people's lives in those moments. The graphic novel example took us into contemporary media where we absorb digital stories with words and visuals and even sound. My augmented reality art show created a digital interactive experience in a physical world, which provides a unique method of entry into storytelling by completely involving your audience. So let's consider the question we asked at the beginning of our talk. How, How did a story, story that you've heard, read, or seen make you feel? As stories let us see how others think and feel, we empathize with the storyteller and even with the people around us who are engaging in this shared experience. In order to nurture the level of customer loyalty needed for long-term business success, you have to make genuine connections with your audience at every touch point throughout the customer journey. Tell stories that share your vulnerability, are sincere, and emotionally compelling. 
when your audience is fully immersed in the story you're telling them, they will experience it along with you. You will be in control of the experience and the customer will follow you wherever you want to take them. Indigenous storytelling has echoed throughout centuries with art forms that have a global footprint, connecting with the traditions of peoples from every continent, celebrating universal narratives of family unity, strength and perseverance, stories that can be retold whomever and wherever you are. Feel the impact, learn the innovation, and be inspired. As we say in Kiowa, a whole day bot how. Thank, Thank you very, very much. much.